Yeah, I mean, I think he knows football. I mean, he's – I wouldn't say he's ready today, you know, to just go on the field just because it's hard to learn our system. But, I mean, we have a lot of practices between us and, you know, the first – uh, first game, and I think by then, you know, I think he'll be ready. Of I don't even know how many more practices we have 10, 20 more practices under his belt to learn the system. And you know, I mean, he's getting better every day, but it's just kind of a gradual, uh, gradual thing. How are you getting along with the grinder camp? I mean, um, you know, I mean, is it getting old yet? Or? No, I mean, it just, I mean, it's it is what it is, you know, it's not fun, it's not glamorous, you know. It's pretty rough, but it's just something you have to do, and it's something that makes the team stronger. Yeah, and the, you know, the follow-up question is, with new guys, are they surprised at all at how tough it is? Yeah, I mean, I don't know if anyone's said it to me off the top of my head, but you can definitely see it in their eyes. I mean, this is, I mean, compared, I remember my first year from high school to here, I mean, it's, there's definitely a big transition. I mean, and I, you know, my our high school program was, you know, Pretty, uh, you know, we had a great program. We worked really hard, but I mean, it just it's kind of different. Your schedule, you go from six in the morning, you know, until late at night, you know, every day, and it's just something that you're not really used to as a freshman. Yeah, that's always kind of uh, interesting to me, interesting to me, because it's a long day. But then also in that time, the competition is so much different. I mean, getting used to it, you're going against really good guys all the time. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I. I think I just, you know, part of the transition, you know, it's something that I think all those guys realize that, you know, when they come here, that it's obviously not going to be as easy as it was in high school. So it's just something they have to get used to and to keep working at. Kobe, a little bit about the line expectations uh, collectively. Obviously, a different approach from last year. You guys were generally new as a group last year. Expectations for the line here in 2015? Um, you know, I mean, I think we have the same expectations as we had last year. We want to be the best offense line in the Big Ten, and, you know, that's our goal. Um, just go out there every day, get better at the things that we can control, and just work from that. Anything different from what you can tell with Coach Warner's uh, his time now as a co-OC, not just a line coach? Um, no, I mean he's he's pretty much the same. You know, I mean he takes you know his job. Pat, you want to join? He he. Um, no, I mean he's he's pretty much the same as he was last year. You know, I mean he doesn't. You know, it doesn't take mediocrity, and you know he's always after you. Whether you're, like I, I say this every time, whether you're the first string guy or the four string guy, he's gonna treat you the same, and he expects the same out of everyone. So, uh, your confidence level, both uh, physically and mentally, I know you, you obviously you took a lot of time off. Where are you at? Um, I'm good now, so I'm ready to play, and looking forward to the first game.